So, Captain Marvel's second trailer has arrived, and honestly, I haven't watched it because I don't really care enough for Marvel films to watch them, watch the trailers, and, you know, speculate about them and all that crap. But the uh, people who are against the whole uh, SJW thing are already tearing the movie apart. And the funny thing is, they're saying, like, it's mediocre, they're saying it looks doesn't look good. To me, it looks exactly the same as the other garbage Marvel films have been coming out lately. You know, Infinity Snore, Spider-Man Boar coming, you know, all those awful Marvel films that everybody's saying how great they are. This one looks the same, so I think the SJWs might have something on the people who are saying this film is uh, horrible. They might just not want it because it's a girl. Maybe. Because, I don't think it's everybody, because... If you're being honest with yourself, Episode Eight of Star Wars was garbage compared to other Star Wars films, and it's not that great of a film when you compare it by itself. Well, the other films, you know, Seven, Rogue One, and Solo are all good films. Eight was just garbage. So obviously it's not Star Wars fans that are being sexist. It's just, you know, this garbage. And uh, Larson, the actress who's playing Captain Marvel in this film, pissed off people when she said she didn't like white men last year, well, actually it was this year because it was about, because she, she was saying how The Wrinkle in Time was considered bad because white men didn't like it. And she didn't care what white men said, but nobody liked The Wrinkle in Time. Well, a vast majority of audiences didn't like Wrinkle in Time. I myself haven't watched it. So I can't say if I liked it or not. But, so she's already had people pissed off at her, and they were just itching for it. And that first trailer where she was all depressed and everything, acting like a zombie, that didn't help very much either. But this one, apparently, like, I've seen clips of it. Like, I watched uh, Comic Artist Pro Secrets little thing about it, where it showed she's smiling and everything, and she has a personality, so... And I watched uh, Geeks and Gamers' Jeremy react to it. So technically, I have seen it. I just haven't seen, like, it properly. It looks exactly the same. The second trailer, it looks even more like a Mar like a regular Marvel film. So I think her hatred might be spilling o might be spilling over into other things, or they're finally seeing Marvel for what I've seen it all since, like Phase Two. They're mediocre films, you know. The bad guy dies, the good guy survives. You can tell it's going to happen by page and age five. And it's like with Infinity Bore, or Snore, or whatever you want to call it. We already know all the quote unquote dead people who they said they're, who Marvel has said, no, they're actually dead, are going to get back to life. They all have sequels in the works. Hell, they're going to uh, air the trailer for uh, the second Spider Boy movie in Bra at the Brazilian Comic Con before the. Uh, Avengers 4 comes out. So, obviously, he ain't dead. And they're all talking about the news about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Well, in the film, in Infinity Snore, all of them died! Except for Rocket. And if it was a Rocket solo movie... Sorry about that. Some rude assholes were talking. But... It'd be called a Rocket Raccoon or something like that. A Rocket. It wouldn't be called Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Because obviously, Guardians is plural. Black Panther, he's already got his. And you saw, like, most of Wakanda die and uh, Infinity Snore. And you, they already said he has a sequel in the works. Doctor Strange, you know, he's... a to my knowledge, that guy, Stephen Strange, is the only Doctor Strange. Because, you know, that's his name. He's a doctor, and his name's Stephen Strange. But, you know, they get titles, they get names the way to everybody. It's like Thor is his name, his name is Thor, but they gave it to Jane. But still, I'm just talking about what I know about him. And he has a sequel in the works. So obviously, they're not dead. That's prequel level bad writing, because... Prequels can be fine stories, it's just, you know, they're not going to have that tension of, oh, what's going to happen? Because, 
to be honest, you already know what's going to happen because you saw the original story. It's like even in my stuff. It's like I write in that the main character, I write in like, oh, the main character is dying because, you know, I felt like writing that stuff with the story. So in case somebody reads that book first instead of the, instead of the original one, but if you read the if you read the original one first, you would know. Okay, yeah, he's not dead. This is a little stupid. So in prequels, when you kill somebody in a regular storyline, like a forwarding storyline, it's kind of stupid. It's like everybody was bitching about Justice League with Superman. Like, oh, we know he's not dead. Oh well, yeah, it's because in BVS they showed that he wasn't. They showed the little dirt rising off, rising off his coffin. That would have played into the story if DC, if DC and Warner Brothers hadn't decided to fuck up and they got rid of Zack Snyder and they brought on that uh, Josh Moron. A, uh, someone who's against women, but they, but all the uh, leftists love him. And yet, didn't he, I think he had what, some Me Too thing against them or something like that. And he always has people, he always, and he added in the jokes like the Flash landing on the Wonder Woman's breast. But aside, oh, and he turned Black Widow into a uh, lovesick puppy, and he got rid of the Hulk's main love interest. Yeah, but they just they just moved out. Some rude ass people keep interrupting me. I'm sorry, but the uh, what am I talking about? Oh, Josh Whedon after destroying the Avengers of like of a couple minutes of Ultron, he went and ruined DC. Because, you know, the films before that, they were decent enough. People liked them. People liked Man of Steel. They didn't really like Batman versus Superman that much. But, you know, that public that public talking mostly said, hey, the extended cut's better. So, in other words, don't mess with the films. Just let the guy make the film. He would rather sit through a three-hour good film than a two-hour boring one. Wonder Woman, everybody loved. You know, the ending was a little meh. And then Justice League is considered garbage by most people. Even though I, I, I enjoyed it enough when I saw it in theaters. Watching it at home again, I didn't really like it that much. But that's besides the point. So, they all got pissed off at DC for doing it and want, for one character. But yet, Marvel does it. The exact same thing, and they're all, oh, I can't believe they're dead. They're not dead. Before Infinity Snore came out, they already announced that they were making Spider Man 2. They just hadn't named it yet. And Black Panther was like number one solo film to make money. Obviously, he's getting a sequel. So I think this might be they're angry might just be the fact that they don't may not like Brie Larson as a person or they don't like the fact that she's a woman because the trailer to me looks exactly the same like the quality as Ant-Man and the Wasp, Infinity War, Far from, not Far from Home, Homecoming, Iron Man 3, The Week of I mean I the Age of Ultron, Dark World, and it doesn't look like the Guardians one or the uh, Ragnarok one because they include that uh, solid golden oldie soundtrack. But other than that, except for those three, anything that's come after the original Avengers, the trailers look like Brie Larson's one. I mean, even though I loved uh, Winter Soldier, the trailer for Captain Marvel looks like that trailer. Like, same quality of a trailer. So I think they're letting their anger with Bree and all that get in the cloud. Their anger is clouding their judgment. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry for interruption. People are on the same frequency as me, sadly. And I hear them talking all the time, even though they have nothing to do with me. People should stay off the uh, waves of the people who are doing other, who are doing uh, actual work, but they don't. 
That's beside the point. That's a little rant that you probably didn't care about. Well, have a nice day.